So, the green tint issue on the OnePlus Nord. Now, before we get into the question that does the green tint issue exist on my OnePlus Nord or not, I would like to clarify that this green tint issue, as people like to call it, is not really specific towards the OnePlus Nord or it's not an issue that we'll find only on OnePlus phones. It is an issue that has existed in a lot of older phones as well, a lot of Samsung phones as well. Personally, a couple of my friends as well on their Samsung phones have been facing this issue. And in the past, none of those phones actually received the same limelight that the OnePlus Nord or OnePlus devices in general are you know, receiving when it comes to the green tent issue. And the reason is the OnePlus 8 Pro. Now, if we go all the way back to OnePlus 8 Pro, that phone had got some serious display issues. And one of those issues was green tint issue. Now, green tint issue is basically common on a lot of AMOLED displays. But just because the OnePlus 8 Pro had like a lot of issues, people started, you know, freaking out over the green tint as well. And after that happened, people started to get like really sketchy when it comes to OnePlus devices and the AMOLED displays. Now, in case you don't really know what the green tint issue is. So basically, when you're using your phone with an AMOLED display panel in complete darkness, like there is absolutely no light at all, and your phone brightness is set to lowest level possible. And if in case there is something gray on your phone, like, you know, a gray picture or let's say incognito mode or some of the applications with these uh, this dark theme as such, which have this gray background color. So in that particular scenario, you will find this green tint or green color all over your display but as soon as you increase the brightness on your phone uh, the green tint goes away okay so it's that minor of an issue first of all but again i'm not saying that brand should get away with this but the thing is this is not really that much huge of an issue the the problem is that the amulet display within itself it's it's really complex and the manufacturing process for the AMOLED display is even more complex. Like if we talk about the AMOLED display, the display actually turns off the pixels entirely when there is absolute black color on your screen. So you get the point, the display within itself is a little bit complex and manufacturing this type of display will of course invite some issues. Now I didn't even know this issue existed on my unit as well until I went on to look for it. So if your unit has this issue, should you return it? Well, if you ask me, I don't think that's really necessary because I've seen a lot of phones like the Realme X2 Pro as well in the past. Even that phone had this type of issue. The issue is really, really subtle and not a lot of people are actually going to notice it at all. So I don't really think there is any need to panic and return the phone uh, at all. But if your OnePlus Nord has issues beyond the green tint, like the hole punch banding or black crush or you know bunch of other issues like that, then that is something to worry about. And in those cases, I would recommend you to actually return or replace your unit, just like Costo from KD Cloud did a while back. But even after watching this video, if you feel concerned about the green tint issue, then don't get the nod uh, because, you know, chances are you will be like really conscious about that. And every single time you're using your phone uh, at night, you will be like looking for that issue. And that would make your life a little bit more frustrating in my opinion. So uh, if, if that's going to be the case with you, just don't go for OnePlus Nord. Maybe go for some other phone, uh, you know, probably a phone with an IPS LCD panel so that you can completely avoid these kind of issues. So yeah, that's just about that. I hope it cleared your confusion if you had any. And uh, yeah, uh, I hope the video helped you. If it did, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.